All right, hello and welcome to Plain Old Gaming. I'm Trifinity Vortex, and this is Minecraft. This is a Minecraft building tutorial. I'm going to build a castle that I used in my own Hunger Games map, which I'll probably have an annotation somewhere for you to check that out. But for now, whoa, spazzy computer. Let's um, take a look at the blueprints here. It's a basic castle structure. You have four towers and a big central building. Now, I took the liberty of building up the first floor so that it won't take forever. Now, the first part of the building is... How many blocks? 19 blocks. This stretch here in between the towers is 19 blocks. Not including these here. First tower is three, one diagonal, three. Then we go over nine blocks. Then you got three, two diagonals, three. And then this is 17 blocks because these towers are bigger, it's a smaller area. Then you got a bigger tower again. And it just repeats. It's pretty symmetrical. So. I guess we can start with the gatehouse on the front because this looks pretty like horrible right you don't want that so I've designed my own gatehouse and it's kind of funky looking but it looks fine once you put it all together so you got your two you have your door and it has one block on either side of it and then you're putting a chiseled stone brick down regular bricks chiseled stone brick and great I forgot one thing I need stone bricks stairs upside down here and that's the starting of the one pillar and it's exactly the same on the other side so you can just kind of repeat that grab your stairs upside down right there starting to take shape. It already looks better than a regular door. Just stuck on the front. So a layer of regular stone bricks. Now it's gonna get fun. Chiseled stone brick there and there. So how did I do this? We have upside down stairs. Oops. Here and here. I haven't quite got the hang of these upside down stairs yet. Like so. And then on the side, it's gonna have one as well. Oops. Silly stairs. Like that. Just a regular stone brick in the center. Now we're gonna have a whole bunch of chiseled bricks on top of each step and in the middle with a stone slab on the top and then you have regular stone bricks in between and that is the gatehouse itself it's pretty snazzy I like it so there you go that's the gatehouse now for the inside we're gonna work on the floor here what I designed is you have this lovely red carpeted floor that goes all the way to the throne you know good old red carpet and I like making my thrones a nine block square there we go and now this is also fancily designed. I have... Okay, and... How did I do this one? And there's your little throne. Honestly, thrones are really annoying. You could easily come up with something better than that, but that's just what I have kind of 
done myself. So there's the basic structure of the throne room. Really, you can do anything you want with this. But what I decided to do was... Let's see. If you go two over and one down from the throne and you start making a checkerboard kind of floor pattern, carpet, tile, whatever you want to call it. It's six over, so that's three, four, five, six. How many down? Nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's just alternating black and white wool. There. I figure we'll start with the inside because it's hard to do all the outside bits before you actually make the inside itself. I like to plan around the inside, so I build the inside first. That way I never run out of space. There you go, and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and there you go, is your two little patches of flooring. Now what I did was, I went, is this? Yeah, it's six, hmm, whatever. I did, well that doesn't look right at all now, does it? Oh, whatever, I had little, little seating areas for the court or whatever you want to call them. I guess I don't really need to get into that too much now. So let's start on the balcony here. It's um, four blocks up. So one, two, three, four, and then a piece of wood. And it goes out four blocks as well. One, two, three, four, all the way around. All right, here's our balcony. Doesn't look so nice from here, but uh, once we start adding the details, it will. Get your lovely fences down. You're also gonna need a staircase up, which there's several ways you can do this. You can use the towers, which I decided not to for the bottom floor. I decided what I wanted to do was, starting here, have staircases going up on both sides. So we can get to the top floor. There you go, and it'll be nice and even, one, two, three, four, five. You can make that smaller, but I think five's good enough space. And I think in my other castle, in the actual built one I have, I made this like a, a library on the top floor. So you go, that's a basic outline of the interior of the castle. The starting of it anyway. So now we're gonna need to add our next floor, which is three blocks up from this one. So one, two, three, and then you'll have your floor like that. So just bring the castle up another level. I'll see you guys when I finish that. Okay. So here we are ready for our next floor, it's just three blocks up and then the fourth is your floor block. Now the castle's looking pretty plain but as soon as we get all the floors in, 
Then we can plan out all the windows and staircases and whatnot. Now a cool thing I did with my other castle was at the second floor. <sighs> yeah, on the second floor, I knocked out these walls and I made spiral staircases going up, which is what I will do later on, but I'm just showing that for now. So this is going to be bedrooms and whatever else you want it to be. Library, blacksmith, uh, I don't know, a weaving room or something. You can have everything up on this floor. This is chambers and all the little rooms of the castle. Away from the big massive throne room. Okay, and the castle has one more floor. So it's one, two, three, and then this one's going to be stone roof. Because that's the very top of the castle. So it's going to be like that. And I will come back when I've got that all finished. Okay, so there's the walls finished. And I'm going to do the roof. Okay, so there's the roof finished. We're going to make it look a lot nicer soon, so don't worry. It's not going to look this ugly forever. So for the towers, the two front small towers are going to be three higher than the roof to start and do some funky stuff with the uh, building it's quite a simple castle so it's not going to be too complicated so what I did was on the fourth level make the well make it one larger this gives it the uh, illusion of depth, <laughs> or at least it kind of makes it, eh, you'll see. It just makes it look nicer. Give it some texture. And then you can fill in the roof. So there you go, there's that. And then you're going to go and build up the edges, up by one. And the sun's going down, so I'm going to sleep before I do any more. Okay. So now you want to bring two up there. I don't know, I think you can leave those open. Let me see here. Depends on how you like it. Because I'm going to put a upside down stairs here on each of them on each side rather and there you go that's the top of one of your towers for now you can you know kind of spruce it up throw in some chiseled stone bricks or half slabs whatever you deem fit so there we go and now I'm gonna do the other one and then we'll work on the bigger towers okay both the small towers finished or at least just the top of them finished we got a lot more to do for those but you know what I mean um, fix that quickly. We gotta know where our tower starts and stops. Right. So the big towers are gonna be much taller and they're gonna be nine tall or ten. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this one's gonna be where you go out one level. So, let's 
get this one up. Right, so here we are. Nine up, or ten up. Nine, and then this layer is the extend outward layer. So you just make it uh, one bigger than the tower is. That way it sticks out, it's got this little tiny overhang. And you fill in the floor, stone bricks of course. And then one layer up the wall. There you are. And then just do the thing on the top, same as the other one. Now this one actually, you can do a little bit with it. You can, well, th maybe not those, but you can use, if I can find it in here, stone brick slabs to give those kind of the illusion of crenellation things what they're called. Don't ask me how they came up with that name, but that's what they're called. And there you go, that's that tower. You can do a lot of funky things with them. Like you can do what I did with those. Put in the lovely chiseled stone bricks along the bottom. Like so. Oops. And did something funky with these. What did I do? I did it like this? Yeah, I did it like this and then I had like a window here and whatnot. So I'm gonna put those in and we can fool around with those later on. And we start putting in the rest of the details for the castle. So I'm going to finish the other tower and then we're going to put the crenellations along the side of this, along the side of the roof. So I'll see you then.